Which of the following represents the slope field for the differential equation dy dx is equal to x? I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can use to solve this problem. So you have more tools in your toolbox, so to speak. The one way is to use a table. So you'll see I generated a table of values where I selected points. I did actually points at random. Uh, I chose to use the x-axis, so I went right along the x-axis at negative 5, 0, negative 4, 0, negative 3, 0, the origin, all the way out to 4, 0. And I plugged those into the differential equation. So dy dx is equal to negative 5. Here, dy dx is equal to negative 4. Uh, at the origin, negative, uh, dy dx is equal to 0. And down here at 4, 0, dy dx is equal to 4. This one's fairly easy because dy dx is equal to x. I just plug in the x-coordinate. And remember that dy dx is also your slope. So you'll notice that for this one, the slope is the same as your solution to dy dx. Now I take this information and I uh, compare this to each of the slopes. So I'm going to start with the origin. That's usually the easiest one. So I'll start right here. And if I need more information, I'll move back and forth from that. But I'll start at the origin. So at the origin on answer choice A, I see that right there I have a positive slope. But I'm supposed to have a slope of 0, which is flat. So right out of the gate, I can eliminate answer choice A because the slope at the origin doesn't match what I'm supposed to have. So I cross out answer choice A. Now let's take a look at answer choice B. And again, I'll start at the origin. And right here at the origin at 0, 0, I do have a slope of 0. That looks promising. If I go to negative 1, 0, I have a slope of negative 1. That also looks good right there. Ne that's a negative slope. It appears to be like negative 1. So that's still good. That's a possibility. I'm going to backtrack to negative 2, 0. At negative 2, 0, I should have a slope of negative 2. And at negative 2, 0, there it is. It is positive. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. It's negative, so that's good. Um, let's take a look at negative 3, 0. At negative 3, 0, I should have a slope of negative 3, but when I look, that's a positive slope right there. And it's supposed to be negative. So right there, that helped, That tells me to eliminate answer choice B. So now I'm narrowed down to C and D. And if I, again, start at the origin, I ha should have a slope of 0, and right there that checks. To speed this up a little bit, notice that from the origin going down to 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, all the slopes are positive. And as I move along the x-axis in the positive direction, all the slopes are positive. And not only that, but the slopes get steeper as I move to the larger numbers. So I start with a slope of 1, which is about a 45 degree angle, on out to a slope of 4, which is pretty steep, 4 over 1. So it also seems to match that way. If I look at the negative numbers, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, they're all negative. And if I look to the left, these are all negative as well, and it appears to match the steepness. So uh, negative 1 is not as steep as negative 3, which is not as steep as negative 4, but they are all negative. So C could be a possibility. If I apply the same logic and analyze graph D, uh, at the origin, I do have a slope of 0. At 1, 0, I do have a positive slope. At 2, 0, I have a positive slope. At 3, 0, I have a positive slope, and so on. So these are all positive slopes. And if I look at my values at negative 1, 0, I have a negative 1. That appears to be a slope of negative 1. At negative 2, 0, that has a slope of negative 2. And continuing on the x-axis, everything going along the negative x-axis does appear to have a negative slope. So we've narrowed this down to two possibilities, C or D. To narrow it down even further to one of those two, I'm going to create a second table. This time, the second table 
is going to use the points negative 5, 1, negative 4, 1, negative 3, 1, and so on until I get to 4, 1. So I'm just going to move up to the line y equals 1 and analyze the slopes at each of this point. Uh, let's start at the origin. Okay, so right here. Again, I still have a slope of 0. And for slope C, that checks. Okay, right here at 1, 0. I said that wrong. 0, yeah, uh, yeah 0, 1. I do have a slope of 0. When I go to answer choice D and I look at the point 1, 0, that's not a zero slope. That's a slope of negative, probably a negative one, but it doesn't match. Okay? I should have a flat line there because it's a slope of zero. So I can eliminate answer choice D, which leaves me with answer choice C, and that is the correct one. Let's take a look at a second method, which you might want to consider. Another option you have to solve this problem would be solving the differential equation itself. So we have dy dx is equal to x. The general solution would be y is equal to 1 half x squared plus c, which is parabolic in nature. So you would have a family of parabolas. And let's say c is equal to 0. I would have a parabola looking something like this. If c is equal to 1, my parabola would look something like this. Oh, excuse my artwork. Uh, if c is equal to negative 2, my parabola would look something like this down here at negative 2. But the parabolas do seem to match the slope field. Please excuse my artwork. But you get the idea that these are parabolic in nature. So it's another way to show that your answer choice could be c. And some people could just use deduction, where you take your prior knowledge of slopes and match it up with the differential equation, and you can also find a solution that way. So you have some, arsenal, uh, some tools in your arsenal to help you solve equations where you have to find a slope field by matching it to the differential equation.